Hi, Geminis. Happy April. I hope you're having a good week so far. This is your reading from April the 4th to the 11th. Um, if this resonates with you, please like, subscribe, share. would be greatly appreciated. Comment if you like. If it doesn't, um, then maybe I'm just not in your energy this week. So uh, feel free to uh, look at your moon and rising sign. Or just come back maybe another week because I might be in your energy there. All right, let's see what we have for Gemini's this week. For Gemini's, please. Okay. Okay. Interesting. So we have the happiness card, which is a great card to have right off the bat. Boom, the sun. Um, happiness, joy, because it looks like there is this new job offer, this new offering kind of coming in for you, Gemini. Um, so maybe some of you are getting a new job, some, maybe some of you are getting a raise, or money's just kind of flowing more towards you, um, which is kind of great. I mean, that's, that's wonderful. I mean, we're really happy about whatever this kind of financial offer that's coming in here. Um, it's bringing us, I just saw 111 on my camera as well. So that's also a good sign because uh, I've been seeing that uh, for a couple of days now. Um, I'm not a Gemini, but there you go. Um, so whatever this is, it's going to bring a lot of happiness into your life here. Um, it's interesting because we have the emperor reversed afterwards um, here, which kind of means disorder. Um, so maybe whatever this financial um, offer is, maybe it's going to kind of going to bring in a little bit of um, a bit of messiness um, into your life. Maybe it's going to cause a little bit of dismay for a little bit of a, uh, a little while. Maybe it's like a quick turnaround or something here that is kind of making you be like, ah, okay, um, everything's kind of a mess right now, but everything is going to work out. Um, I don't know, I wanna check some more and see what kind of this Emperor Reverse energy is. Can I just have some clarifiers on this Emperor Reverse energy, what this is? Cause it looks like we have a lot of happiness coming in with this new job offer here, this new financial offer. Can I just get what this Emperor Reverse is? A clarification on this Emperor Reverse is. Okay, interesting tower on that energy. Yeah, it's kind of what the energy I was feeling, that they, like the disorder, like um, um, things coming in and changing fast for you. Like, yes, this is kind of um, something that you really hoped and dreamed for here, Gemini, but it, it's, it feels like it's kind of coming fast and a lot of things are going to change up, like your life is going to change up really quickly. Um, and so that's kind of a bit scary because you're just like, ah, I mean, I was like so solid. Maybe you felt like you had a solid foundation or whatever it was. Um, maybe you have to feel like you have to move. Uh, maybe you have to do some things before that is just going to cause a little bit of stress. Um, but it looks like whatever this, again, when I said what this job offer was, is something that we've been kind of hoping for or wishing for um, here. All right, make some more for Gemini's this week. Please and thank you. Gemini's. Interesting. Um, and for some of you, you might be dealing with divorce, and I know this is kind of very, very, very specific here, because we have the lovers, we have the two of wands reversed, the higher front, and the five of cups, and heartbreak. So it's almost like heartbreak from whatever this kind of this lover situation is, it looks like we it kind of failed or didn't work out or we're kind of going back to the drawing board here. Um, just because the higher fonts here makes me, it could be with a Taurus. Um, it could also just have to do with, um, the higher font also could do with um, higher learning. Um, so sometimes it can do universe or sometimes it could be um, marriage. It can be um, anything kind of that in, in that realm of um, almost like religion or like um, higher, um, higher learning in the sense in a way so when it comes out with the lovers and the two of wands reverse kind of makes me feel like almost like a failed marriage um or starting over in a marriage here or some kind of ceremony um maybe religious 
ties um, in this relationship if it wasn't a marriage it might have been a thing um, if this is a spiritual also setting as well maybe one of you is ascending and maybe one of you is not as well but whatever this kind of situation was it's kind of going to leave you with a little bit of sadness um, depression and pain and a little bit of, of heartbreak here so maybe some of you are going to go through that or going through that right now and maybe that also is what kind of is um, causing this kind of um, the shake of this um, disorder because you have this new job offer but you're also kind of dealing with this emotional stuff as well um, dealing with this relationship I mean the lovers is the Gemini card um, so again you could be dealing with a Taurus here is Aries on the board as well um, but there's a little bit of a little bit of that heartbreak that that's that's lying there yeah, with the Ace of Cups reversed, definitely a breakup energy here, Gemini. Um, it's going to rock you a bit. And I, I, now that I'm feeling, I was like, oh yeah, this kind of makes sense. Um, in the sense of being like, why is it so disordered? But you're happy because you have a new job offer that you really wanted. But especially if you're going through this emotionally underneath, then yeah, totally. That, 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 that totally makes sense. <laughs> it's a lot of changes, especially if you're changing job and changing like relationships. Um, a lot of change. So that's probably the to explain to the Tower card there. All right, Gemini, so what else we got for you? Gemini's. For Gemini's. For Gemini's this week from the 4th to 11th, please and thank you. Seven Swords here reverse, which means kind of like truth uh, coming to the surface, people not kind of um, being sneaky anymore, and the Page of Swords reversed. You might be getting an um, apology from someone, I'm feeling. It's like an apology from someone um, that you kind of um, haven't cut, that you kind of cut communication out. Um, with or they haven't kind of been speaking um, to you in a way so someone might be coming forward and apologizing um, I'm getting that kind of energy here with it um, it seems like this is person has maybe has cut uh, again we're saying cut contact for a while with you and they might kind of pop back up here or maybe they've been kind of um, watching you online as well because that can be kind of the page of swords um, here with that kind of online energy um, but yeah, if, it seems like maybe if someone wronged you or someone uh, has been distant um, in the last little bit, maybe it's this person in this breakup too that you're going to get <clears throat> kind of a message from them here. Yeah. What else do we have for Gemini's this week? For Gemini's, please. please yeah there's this relationship breakup here <clears throat> that you're moving on from um very clear in this um reading <laughs> just slammed that on my desk sorry um very clear kind of in this reading here with the two of cups reversed and we have the seven of swords we're moving away from this breakup whatever it was maybe this is that failed marriage that i was talking about um but we're kind of pushing ourselves away for that so we might even be physically moving away from this person as well uh, maybe that's kind of what the tower moment is as well the change up of, of moving past that and moving on so some of you might be moving away from an ex uh moving out of the house uh moving away from someone here maybe this job offer is also pulling you towards another place, um, pulling you towards a, a different city here. And maybe this kind of getaway, this moving away from this heartbreak here, um, moving away from this, whatever this kind of breakup was, is going to help you beneficially. Um, if this is the ex that's kind of coming back to apologize, then I would just, I don't think you're really down for it. I think you're just kind of like, okay, whatever, and kind of move away from that energy anyways. Um, I think you're just like going to accept the apology, but then you're just kind of like, okay, whatever. I'm done with that. I'm moving on. I'm pushing forward. Gemini's. Yeah, big changes. Big cycle changes here. Whatever this, that new job that's 
that new direction, that new financial offer, whatever that, that, that happiness that's bringing here. We have the death card as well. You could <clears throat> also be dealing with a Scorpio, um, but it seems like this moving on here, this moving past the death of this kind of cycle of this breakup um, is the kind of big change that's, that's happening right now. And it's funny because the universe is kind of bringing you opportunities in while well in that change. So things can just feel a little all over the place. We're closing out that chapter here, kind of closing out um, that heartbreak and moving on to something kind of new and fresh. In fresh. I don't even know what that was. I'm losing it today, aren't I? Okay. Anything else for Geminis before I pull some oracle cards? Anything else you want to say for Geminis? Keep up your self-worth here, Gemini. My self-worth card came out. Um, so just make sure we're feeling good and confident in ourselves, especially if we're not maybe the one that ended this relationship or maybe we're not the one um, that's moving, moving past fast quicker. Um, here, just remember to value ourselves. Um, remember to stand up for ourselves and what we deserve and what we believe in here. Um, cause at the bottom of the deck there, we also have a bit of weak boundaries. Um, so make sure we're standing up for our value and what we believe we deserve. Um, and treating ourselves with lots of kindness this week. I think that's another answer for you. I really just saw some kindness. Anyways, um, I'm going to pull a star seed oracle for you and we'll pull energy like we usually do. Interesting. It's the same card Aquarius go. A lot of healing right now for the air signs. For Gemini, please. Thank you. Okay, I swear, like, I shuffle these. Well. But you got the two same cards as Gemini. And they, you, I mean, you saw them, they just popped out. What is going on? Okay, well, I'll read you these anyways. Uh, you got deep healing and also door to personal um, healing and happiness here. Um, so I'm just going to read you the deep cellular healing. Your body knows how to heal. Healing is your natural state. Physical emotional disharmony can be a reflection of how the world and our inner has been out of alignment. If you're suffering from a mysterious chronic illness, don't allow yourself to think that you've done something wrong. Today, it's difficult to navigate our health. If this card has made its way to you, you're being called to focus on your healing in practical ways, to prioritize your health, to be kind and tender to your miraculous body, to give yourself the grounding and care you need. What we're talking about with the Nine of Pentacles reverse there. To put your body first, to nourish yourself as you would a newborn baby, to treat yourself with tender care. You may be called to switch things up in your body or your emotional well-being, to call in a team of helpers to support you navigating any challenges you may be experiencing em emotionally. The Arcturians are a galactic group of beings who have mastered deep cellular and emotional healing. They want you to know it's possible to feel uh, vibrant in your body and well in your skin, to have your cells return to eff effervescence and vitality, to find calmness and contentness, uh, to help uh, to have soothe a nervous system and tranquil heart. I take back my vitality and energy and feel more and more healthy each day. All right, personal door to healing and happiness it means that doors are opening up for us. And that's what we're kind of talking about with the sun um, card here. Whatever this kind of new financial um, stability kind of is, whatever this new job coming in is, the universe is really clearing stuff out with this tower card here. We're kind of clearing out this old relationship, um, clearing out the stuff in your life that is not going to... Um, Put you into the new path here put you into a fresh start right um with this kind of death card we're closing out that kind of chapter in our life we also have attachment here which i want to give you a quick read perceived need and choice to let go in the upright position this card uh, receives that your message uh, your passage forward is being stopped by strong attachments to old patterns or people from the past the chains at your wrist is bolted to fear from the past or um, desperation about the future although you wear may uh, wear a mask of pretense or even contentment you simply cannot seem to go forward the stuff that keeps you stuck could be physical addictions emotional patterns or even older relationships especially in this reading it seems like old relationships are you leaving a 
from fear, addicted to the old, unhealthy habits, or desperate about the future that you can't be happy now. If so, the chains that bind you could be your own making. This card is telling you that it is time to take action and you need to break out of those chains and move forward to open um, forward to open a free, healthy, and authentically happy life. It may take some courage and effort to let go, but know that you are capable of doing it. Until you do, the difficult energies will just repeat itself, keeping you stuck. I don't think you're going to be stuck here. It seems like there's some clear um, changes going on. Um, so I'm happy for that for you. Um, Gemini's and I hope you have a good week.